all, welcome to our very first mini culture class. Today's topic is Ottoman architecture and our very own Sinon will be with us too. Hey Sinon, pleasure having you here with us. Well, the pleasure is all mine. I had to leave the building site earlier to join you. <laughs> Alright then, let's get started. Can you tell us a bit about the history? Where did it start? Ottoman architecture is the distinguishing feature of the Ottoman Empire. It emerged in Borsa and Adirne in 14th and 15th centuries, you know, 1300s and 1400s. The architecture of the empire developed from the earlier Salchuk architecture. It was influenced by them too. It was also influenced by Islamic Memluk traditions after the conquest of Constantinople by the Ottomans. Oh, I guess when you share land, you do get influenced by the previous architecture. Absolutely. You can see Salchuk influences in my buildings, too. How about the buildings we currently have in the 1500s? For almost 400 years, Byzantine architectural artifacts such as the Church of Hagia Sophia served as models for many of the Ottoman mosques. Overall, Ottoman architecture has been described as Ottoman architecture synthesized with architectural traditions of the Mediterranean and the Middle East. I have been told you are the best of the best, Sinan. The best architect and engineer the mighty Ottoman Empire has to offer. What do you say about that? <laughs> the Ottomans achieved the highest level architecture in their lands. We mastered the technique of building vast inner spaces confined by seemingly weightless yet massive domes. Our work achieved harmony between inner and outer spaces, as well as light and shadow. And I might have helped a bit with all that. <laughs> oh, you mean it's not only about the building itself, but surroundings too? Of course. You can't imagine a floating mosque, can you? You imagine it inside a big courtyard surrounded by tulips and trees. We have done a lot of changes to mosque designs over the world. We use vaults, domes, semi-domes, and columns. The mosque was changed from being a low-lit chamber with arabesque-covered walls into a beautiful sanctuary. Such masterful in your craft. We love you, Sinan. Um, yes, yes, thank you. So if you'll excuse me, I have a building site to run and a bridge to build. Yes, of course. Thank you for sharing a bit of your vast knowledge with us. Alright people, this has been our first mini class and we have been lucky enough to feature the one and only Sinon. Stay tuned and catch up with us on the next mini class. Thank you. Ho shakalin.